and here is the boy EX show here the let's play of Wild Arms 2 and yes viewers we're back inside T-Brook Village and um, there's a few things we're gonna want to do before we um, move on to the next um, trial and yes if you can't hear me turn me up and if you can't just turn me down I always say that viewers just in case my microphone is too low but anyway though what we're about to get into right now is um, you remember I was talking about um, magic like level 2 magic um, to get level 2 magic for Leica well um, we want to take advantage of that right now and actually go ahead and learn those level 2 magics I believe those are the strongest magics in the game it doesn't get no more farther than level 2 even though I, I believe I said in the earlier let's play of this that you can upgrade it I'm gonna correct myself right now and tell you that you cannot upgrade it until you can upgrade it after you get level 2 level 2 is the highest so <clears throat> how you do this well, um, we're gonna start that side quest right now, and um, you know, get her some level two magic, get her some better skills. So, here is the most powerful item in the game, which is the teleport orb. And yes, it is the most powerful item in the game because it teleports you to anywhere you, anywhere you've been in the map once, twice, or many different times. It will just teleport you there. So, where we want to go back to start this quest, we want to go back to um, Neka, um uh, hometown, which I believe is the Sinji or Sinji or Sinji region, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I don't know, I believe so, but anyway, um, what I'm going to do right now is, I'm going to switch, um, to Leka, you're gonna need her, and pretty much, this is how you get level 2 magic with, um, Leka, um, pretty much, so, there's a person that you need to speak to in here. I am believe it's in this building right here. Um, no, not this one right here. Actually. This one right here. Now, if you go inside here, you need to talk to this person right here. Korean, Korean, uh, Korean, uh, Korean, or whatever. I'm trying to pronounce that person's name. I believe it's Korean. I'm not very good at pronouncing people's name at all. So yeah. Anyway, but anyway, you need to get to that person right here, and you need to pretty much talk to them. Now they're gonna refer a person called Doctor Day. The reason why you haven't known about him yet is because they hint the um the name to you, which is magic right here. It, basically, the person is telling you that there was a teacher that used to be at this college that used to work on high level skill but he teleported himself off to an island that you cannot reach by sea, air or no other craft at all can't get there but except one item and we're about to put that in effect right now and basically what it is viewers is you know Lake could be having one too many troubles with those teleport things well that's what I'm about to take in effect right now once you get outside here, um, out on the world map, go ahead and use the teleport orb and teleport back again to the region. You're going to notice something weird. See that flash of red light? Yes, that's what we want to see right there. And we will be teleported to this chunk of rock right here, which is going to reveal an in place to us, Island Outpost. So we're going to come here in Island Outpost because this is where, you know, we will get what we need. I mean, you can look around and see what's going on all around the scenery, but I don't believe there's anything here we can get. Um, but I would love to use Ashi and see if those barrels have anything. Nope. So we're gonna go ahead and um, switch right back on to her and we want to talk to this individual right here And trust me viewers the magic spells that she's going to get is going to be ridiculous like well for a level right now it won't be anything but as you go up in the game it will change like she will start hitting hard and having this upgrade with her even make her much more valuable to the party more than anything else I should say valuable but you know it happens and there you go we got the high level crest and basically that's what we need to do we're not done yet there's still a few things we need to do before um, 
um, we get off and go do what we have to do. Um, we want to use that teleport over again and we want to go back because somewhere in that dialect he told you that you know you need to um, you need to return that item the eye level crest back to the, the um, teacher guy that was inside the library and yes viewers there is a quite a few duplicates in the game scatter around the map I believe I should actually do a side quest on that like probably an off recording of that showing you guys where those items are actually located I may think about it if I really want to do it or not if we end up running short on items then I'll be visiting those locations in the game just to get them but anyway we want to come back here and talk to this guy right here which he will spread the news about um, those high level magic so anywhere you go right now as of right now in the game you will pretty much have access to high level level 2 magic which you could before and also you have to remember viewers Wild Army is a very strange game you can actually like I said from the previous playthrough you can play through a proportion of this game and never really seen the full game at all and this is one of them you can actually miss um, this skill right here you can go through the entire game and never get level 2 magic so we want to go back to Island Outpost again and this is where we're going to take advantage um think carefully before you do right here viewers because um for number one let me explain when you go to this guy he's going to give you the chance to learn level two magic now like i said you'll be able to learn everywhere because his, his apprentice will go around and spread the magic the word the word of the high level magic and also the teachings of that book that he actually read um, the thing is, when you get all level 2 magic at this point in the game, there will be like around 48 FP to cast. So, um, what a smart player would do will pretty much, you know, take some of the level 2 that he needs and use some of the level 1s. And what a not so smart, so smart player who wants the game stack against him would do is pretty much get all the level 2 magic and pretty much worry about everything later well I'm that person <laughs> I'm not telling you to take that route but that's the route I'm going to take I'm gonna take all the level 2 magic while I can do here as possible and um, if you want to go ahead and do it so do it too you know um, you're not restricted against it you can go ahead and do it if you want to try out all the level 2 magic go ahead so here we want to erase all our level 1 magic that we learned previously yes let's get rid of everything and now we're gonna create brand new crest you see high break um, is that interest or interest I believe something like that anyway restore high revive mighty body high weapon high, high, uh, high flames armor down field high spark high voltage slow down etc etc these are all I magic what I'm gonna go for first is I heal um, I would also go for uh, I want to learn most of our attacking spell first I'll go for the high flame um, high revive I have well, I'll go for that because that's a good tech. I Voltex, I'll go for that. I Sparks, I'll go for that. Um, Armor Down, that's another good skill right there. I believe Hyper Weapon. Yeah, we want to get Hyper Weapon. Hyper Weapon is going to come in fine. Also, get Revive Viewers, that's actually good. Restore would be another good one for her right there. Um, Basically, I'm going to keep it like this for now. So, those are my level 2 magic with her. And, yes, we're going to get out of here and on to the real challenge at hand right now. Um, we did get the lawnmower for Ashley. Well, not for Ashley, for Brad. And I believe we have all the skills for Ashley. So, now what we need to do is come back to here where we will continue. Um... 
this playthrough but as we go along viewers it will get pretty much um it'll get pretty much nice but now we're about to move on to somewhere else in the game give me okay so quarantine was the place that we needed to go and to get there we need to get into our hovercraft which is over here and what makes that item so important to also viewers it teleports you directly into that thing right here so um what we need to do actually now is this place right here cannot be found um regularly it can't be found you know that easy it's actually stuck in between some grooves of rock i believe so we might have to I think it's yeah somewhere down here. I think a channel. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think a channel is somewhere right here. Yeah, here's the channel. Is this the channel? Oh, no, that's not a channel. Channel's more like the over here. <laughs> okay, and channel. I'm just telling you, it's just basically a path that you follow, like a river path. Here it is, right here, and we will be coming through here, where we will be coming off on an island very soon, which is right here is it right here really no it's not right here my fault here it's not right there but um
basically when I come back to Rosavia, it's somewhere right at this area where we are right here. So... stopping right here and when I come back I will be at the actual <clears throat> town that we need to be at so with that being said I'll see you guys around peace out